hi guys welcome to another one of my videos welcome to my channel um this is just a foundation highlighting and contouring routine video i hope you guys like and enjoy this video please share and subscribe to my channel and yeah make sure you leave comments and questions in the comment section and i'll leave all i use all the products i use in the description box so i hope you enjoy the video bye so i'll be starting with my lancome tint idol ultra foundation in number 10 this is just going to be my base i'm going to go over it all over my face because my skin i have some blemishes so this is just going to be like a neutralizer to blend my skin tone and make everything look good to start with So next I'm going to be using my Lancome Tint Idol foundation in number 6 is the lighter shade to my complexion which is the number 10. I'm going to draw a V, a slanted V under my eyes on both sides then I'm going to go across my forehead with a love shape so in the end it should look like a love shape and contouring and highlighting is different for different face shapes. I think to get the hang of it you need to first understand your face shape, feel for your cheekbones and everything because the same rules don't apply for everybody so it's actually a very personal thing you need to understand your face and your complexion to get the hang of it next i'm going to use my mac match master foundation in 8.5 i'm just going to mix it in with some of the number six of the, my lancome foundation just to make it darker a bit then i'm going to use it for my chin and my upper lip next i'm going to use my match master from mac in 9.5 i'm going to use it to contour so just my nose, bits of my forehead, and the sides of my face, my cheekbone area. Again, contouring is face specific. You need to understand your face. You need to understand your cheekbones and your bone structure basically to know where to contour. So the same rules don't apply for everybody to be very honest. Now for the rest of my face, I'm just going to use my regular Lancome Tint Idol in number 10 just to help with my blending actually. So I'm just going to apply it to the rest of my face and that will be it. For Next, I'm going to blend everything together nicely so there are no harsh horrible lines. This is basically the most important step in highlighting and contouring because when, the, when you take a picture with a camera and your harsh lines aren't blended, that stands out and then, I mean, there's really no point. So make sure you blend your contouring and your highlighting products very well and you're good to go. Now I'm just going to powder in. I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Fix NW35 as my highlighting powder. I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Fix NW45 for my lower cheek area and for my high, for my contouring powder. I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever 656 I think it's called. I'm not very good with the numbering of the Makeup Forever powder range but I think it's called 656 a really dark powder Once again, I'm going to blend just as I did with the liquid products. The powder products also have to be blended so everything looks nice and picture perfect. So guys, this is my foundation, highlighting and contouring routine. This is the finished product with everything nicely blended. I don't like the drastic look, so it's a bit 
well i'll say it's a bit toned down from what i normally see but this is the look i like this is what i go for so guys please subscribe i hope you enjoyed this video and there'll be more videos coming so see you in my next video bye